Love, peace, and soul, Leo. What's going on? We're going to do a check-in from now into, into October. We are also going to do an extended that's going to be poached up, po poach it up, posted up on page behind. All my links are in the description box below to the website, all that good stuff, to be able to book a reading with me, all that good stuff. Off the back, we got Quest here. Mm, with facade. Okay, so off the back, okay, we got some shit here. Just based off of the, the, the iconography, the pictures, right? The symbology in the pictures. Yeah. I'm seeing something here. Now, if there's a masculine energy, a masculine Leo, there's definitely something about grandparents here. Definitely. Okay. I feel you have a grandmama energy that watches over you and protects you and prevents you from going in a direction that is not conducive for you at this time and i feel like there's a grandfather energy with that could still be on this plane too now that they don't they don't just have to be in the spirit realm okay and i feel like there's a grandfather energy that is like you know trying to give you some advice like you know drop the facade like be be real live your authentic life now while you can while you're still here on the planet and then we have soulmate here so it could and be involving a soulmate right just based off of that okay um i'm also seeing like literally like leo you could possibly want to go towards something like where the grass where you feel the grass is greener on the other side and i feel like the ancestors are preventing you from um going in this direction because they know or the most high know like this is not for you okay this is not for you woodwives adaptability right like the road stops here like you could be on your path on your journey of life and it's like there could be a dead end. Look, the further gate, okay? Or a need to access entry into another farther part, right? We're going to see. Let's see. What else about Leo? Yeah, because, you know, you know, you got to keep keep your ego in check. Let's see. Look at that. Star Sia. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you already know this is your energy. Star quality. Okay. Ooh. Ascending Jacob's Ladder. Definitely watch Cancer's reading. Okay, you could have cancer in your chart. Watch cancer's reading. Okay, because it was saying about walking into the hands of the gods and goddesses. Like you're going on a new path. And I feel like with you, Leo, you're continuing the story. Right? Just like the Fibonacci, Fibonacci energy of the Zodiac. So you're in the hand of the goddess and now you are ascending. What's at the bottom of the deck? Trust your innocence. There's definitely um, some inner childhood. So there could be some childhood memories. There could be some childhood um, like habits. Like let's say you used to suck your thumb, right? Like maybe you went back to doing that as of late. You know, just, just things you used to do as a child to bring about a level of comfort. And you're like, why am I doing this? I haven't done this in years. Why am I sucking my thumb? Why am I uh, like pulling at my hair, rubbing my hair? 
more than usual. It's something that you used to do as a child. I'm definitely seeing that. Let's pull a fairy. Okay. Oh, you got some energy here, Leo. This is my, for me, this is like my Lilith energy, the dark lady type of high priestess energy as well. With Sylvanus. This came out for Taurus energy. Like there's a masculine energy. Okay, the facade, mask all. You see? the A facade is like a mask. So my Leo, my, my masculine Leos is mask all. Okay? Feminine Leos. I think you're going to definitely be channeling some primordial feminine energy that if any masculine energy comes to to you, they would have they're going to have to present themselves mask off literally. And then you also have um LB the retriever, which is like like speaking in truth. This is definitely you have some jewels to share. What's at the bottom? What's this? Make the A on the answer. Yeah. Leo, this is deep right here. Oh, yeah. That's definitely some Leo. That's some Lilith. Kali Ma type of vibe right there. The dark lady. You know we're going to read her in the extended. We're going to read her in the, in the extended. Okay. Wait. Let's do this. So there's so many energy here. And they're making their way. You see it here. So masculine energy. Two. There's so there's a Lilith energy. A dark lady that you cannot, you're gonna have to show your true self. What did I say? <laughs> How you having a con uh, consciousness of black Leo when you represent regal and royalty? You have a wealth of knowledge. You have a wealth of love, unconditional love within you. Look at that. Look, look, look. All right now, <laughs> All right now, Leo. I feel like y'all could learn from each other. Right, because the teacher not only teaches, but the teacher also gains some a level of knowledge as well from the student. Do they not? Okay, let's pull from this tarot deck. The dark lady. Wow, the soulmate coming through. Could be teaching you. I'm feeling like teaching you to um about different income streams. I'm seeing that. Ooh, they loyal. Feminine Leos, listen to me. I, I'm getting that this masculine energy that's coming with his mask off is loyal. I'm, I'm definitely getting that. You see that sort of truth? Like, he gonna be honest with you. You're going to have to adapt. Wow. Yo, Leo, what's going on? Like, what are the odds that you come across someone in your deal day to day and y'all are literally matching? Okay. What are the odds? They are matching. Like I said, I feel like, and then look, 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 look. What did I say about the multiple income streams? This person, I feel like is going to come to you and they may appear. Like I'm getting coming to America energy. Like this person is going to appear to you like as if they don't have a lot. Um, Like they may have a little rinky dink job. Like, they may have a so-called Walmart job or whatever. You know what I mean? 
but I feel like they definitely have a wealth of knowledge. They are wealthy. I'm getting that. And then even if on, in the matrix, in the 3D situation, right? But he's a wealth of knowledge. Like, listen, I could show. Look, that look like the same motherfucking dude with the long hair, yo. Yo, that's crazy, Leo. Or this is you. You know what I'm saying? If you're a masculine Leo. Like, I feel like, but if you show, like, your true heart. Look, this dude even got long hair, too. Yo. You got a lot of love to get. And he got the books there, too, yo. Listen. Okay. Listen up. Feminine Leos. You're going to come across a king, an emperor. I feel like, even though it says it's the Knight of Cups, I'm getting that he's more than that. I'm definitely getting like he's more than that. Or he has the potential. But And it's like, oh, well, you can't really, you know, based on relationship off of potential. But I'm, I feel like you, you'll be able to tap in because I feel like you have high priestess energy. You'll be able to tap in to know whether or not this person will be able to um, grow within time. He's a, he has a wealth of knowledge. This is what I feel like. He got some jewels to, to bestow upon. Oh, what did I say? I say he got emperor energy. The Knight of Cups came out, but he got emperor energy, Leo. Period. Or oh, this is you. This is what I'm saying. This is the potential. If you're masculine, Leo, you have the perpet the potential to be a business owner. You have the potential. Yo, listen. This is what I'm saying. Feminine energy. I'm telling you right now. Let's say you could have um choices, okay? And you look like, oh well, his pockets ain't really, you know, blah blah blah. And you thinking the grass is greener on the other side. Let me tell you, two of wands, queen of cups, unconditional love. Look at that. Judgment. And we got the hangman, the Pisces full moon. The Pisces full moon. This is an initiation. Def this is some definite initiation. Okay, for I feel like for a Leo... High Priestess. Let's put some clarification real quick. This whole interaction with this masculine energy. This is the potential right here. The two of wands. Because the world is your own oyster. So that's the potential for so much, shit, for so much more. Wow. Let me get some clarification. Let me get some clarification on this one. We got the birds. And did y'all see the pigeons at the bottom? I feel like there's gonna be some people, nosy people. There's gonna be some nosy people. Hmm. Yeah, this masculine energy could be a little bit detached. That's why, too, it's saying, like, don't hold that facade. You regret it. Masculine energies do not hold up a facade. You will regret it. Ooh. Ooh, performing some alchemy. Spell work. With that dark lady, most definitely. Most definitely. And it doesn't have to be negative. It can be positive. Yeah, deeper can yeah, family. That's your deepest desire. Awakening some lost hopes. Oh, um, can you tell me about okay? I'll take both of these. And what's at the bottom? What did I you got Pisces with Pisces at the bottom of the deck. It says within six to nine months, 
during the win or during the winter. Which is literally six to nine months from now. Pisces energy. The moon. With the hangman. And then you got the dark lady. So, feminine Leos. Boy, you better stop sneaking up on me. Feminine Leos, I can tell you right now. You working on manifesting some deep shit. You manifesting a partner. You're manifesting some knowledge that you need. You're manifesting this new world for you. You're manifesting your calling. You're manifesting the reprogramming and relearning of certain energy of yourself. You're manifesting some deep family bonds. Okay? This is dope. You're manifesting some offers. There's definitely a need to negotiate here if you're in business. There's going to be some negotiations. There's definitely going to be some offers. You're going to rely on your intuition and your knowledge. Your, your knowledge and your wisdom. You're going to be performing some alchemy in order to bring this shit in. And the results, and I feel like with the judgment here, right? You're gonna be, you're gonna be happy with the results. What did I say? And it says here, faithful. Here we got geese, and then we got the birds. And there was pigeons on this thing here, and I was getting faithful energy with the loving woman, with the wolf, or if it's a dog, a husky, something, something. Somebody is really, really loyal here and fruitful. With that, Leo, I'm, we're going to go over to the extended. If I don't see you here, it's all right. I still love you. I'm going to see you on the check-in. Peace.